Greetings and salutations. This is Big J Triple X. Um, before I get to the meat and the crux of this, uh, there are about at least eight links below in the description box on my YouTube channel. Of this of this YouTube video, there should be at least seven, eight, possibly nine links. Um, because what I'm about to talk about is very um i'm going to give you the condensed um uh, for a version of of the events um so that if you look at all the links in, in below you hopefully i'll give you the full understanding of what um uh, i'm trying to convey last week i think this was like last friday uh during my last live stream uh, that Friday night live, live stream, Saturday morning live stream, rather. Um, I was doing a uh, Kelly Ray. Um, shout out to her. Um, she was asked a question. Uh, have you ever heard of a bill that's floating in the United States Senate, which is called the Restrict Act? And the Restrict Act is is a uh, an acronym. And I'm not going to say the, the entire acronym. Y'all, you 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 can look up the bill. Um, the link of that bill is on the description box. But um, the long title to this bill is to authorize the Secretary of Commerce to review and prohibit certain transactions between persons in the United States and the foreign adversaries and for other purposes um the short title is restricting the emergence of security threats that risk information and communications uh technology act of 2023 which is the acronym for restrict um a few months ago last year to be exact last summer when I read this bill, right, it reminds me of a bill in Canada. And there are two Canadians that I sub to on YouTube. One is called Dosa Buckley and and JJ McDullin. JJ McDullin was the primary one who was making videos about what's going on in Canada. And I'm looking at the parallels between C eleven, the Canadian uh Parliamentary Act, the, the uh, that's called C11, which quote unquote restricts YouTube within Canada, and is similar to the Restrict Act that Senator Mark Warner from Virginia is trying to do um, over here against TikTok. While in the Canadian bill, it mentions youtube um per se but in the american uh law the restrict act tiktok is not named in the title nowhere near uh not on the title and especially is not named um uh, or any other social media group is not named in the bill itself which is why when I read the title, which the title says to authorize the Secretary of Commerce to review and prohibit uh, certain transactions between persons in the United States and former adversaries. Now, that right there, I can I can see the point. But the latter half of the. The bill says for other purposes which leads me to they're not just after tiktok tiktok is just a propaganda tool so that the united states government can infringe more into the rights of of the citizens of the united states and it doesn't take a rock and scientist to figure out when the title of the bill said for other purposes 
And there are a couple things in the bill. I'm not going to talk about these these, these, these sections, um, but there is there is a few things I have a problem with. There's a few things I have a problem with. On one end of the bill, um, it says says something about um, it says uh, the punishment of the bill is uh, the penalties will be up to quarter of a million dollars, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, or quite a twice or twice the value of the transaction that serves as the basis of the order, whichever is greater, and criminal penalties up to $1 million and up to 20 years in prison. Now, having said that, now the foreign adversaries that's listed on the bill says China, including Hong Kong, in Macau, Cuba, Iran, Russia, and the Nicholas Manun regime of Venezuela as foreign adversaries. That's in the initial text. But let's talk about the term transaction. If you use Robinhood, right, or Coinbase, or any other website uh, that that does stock exchange because stocks, um, transactions, all of that is within the, um, I want to say, uh, as I speak, let me look at the text real quick. If I look at the text, I think, uh, yeah, uh, let me see. Forgive me. Holding, yeah, on uh, section five, no, section six. Um, no, I'm sorry, section eight. In section nine, it says holding. And the term holding means equity, interest, stock, security, share, partners, partnership interests, interest in limited li liability company or membership in interest or taking part the right or an equivalent of uh of any character and it includes without limitation and security converted to the ownership right warranted or or option um ownership interest which means though if you're using these sites like coinbase and, and uh, robin hood you could be in jeopardy if say let's say though you you own stock in china hong kong macau macau hong kong are in china or if you own um stock somewhere in the middle east or in eastern eastern europe where 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 it's possibility that that corporation or company does business with any of the adversary nations which gives the secretary or the department of of commerce the ability to file charges against you as an american citizen and this is these in, in the way i see it this is the financial patriot which on section five of this of the bill says uh, critical infrastructure, the, the term critical infrastructure means given the term in section uh, 1016E of the U U U.S. Patriot Act. So that means anybody who does money, who, who's trading stock in foreign nations or nations that are hostile to the United States or to the Western Union, world will be will be looked upon as a criminal or as somebody who, who is a, a foreign um who, uh, almost treason but there's also another problem with this bill and and uh, i think uh, there's a problem with the vpn because in one of the 
in one of the texts it says, and I quote, uh, due to the text, it, it says that no person shall cause, aid, obey, counsel, command, induce, procure, uh, permit, or approve the doing of an act that violates orders issued under the act, which means VPN services like Norton PN, VPN, or these other PPN services. And, and if you don't know what a PPN service is, a PPN service is a, um, is a, and, and, and I'll put it, uh, is a, uh, is a virtual private network that provides a proxy server to help uh, users to buy, bypass internet censorship, like geo blocking or whatever. Uh, and it, let's say, let's say if you are a person and you want to, if you don't want your uh, your neighbor or your friend to, or or strange people rather to uh, look into your internet, um, your near internet Wi-Fi system. That means because you validate, because because you want to guard your privacy. Now it's a crime for you buying a VPN, trying to guard your privacy from other people, especially the government. So this already violates a Supreme Court ruling that was made in the 1950s about um, about the right to privacy. It also violates, in my opinion, the Third Amendment of the Constitution and possibly the fourth amendment of the constitution has been violated by this act. If, if, if the VPN is now a criminal act because you're trying to guard your own privacy. So therefore the government can sit, can come into your transactions. If you're using uh, YouTube, if you're using TikTok, if you're using um, cash app and buymecoffee.com or even doing Robin Hood, in Coinbase, you are committing a crime. So that's why, though, it's questionable. When I see of the title of the bill said, for other purposes, this is going to have um, troubling ramifications. But however, there is a bipartisan even though the bill has been has by, by, bipartisan support, there's also bipartisan opposition to this. You got people, centers like J.D. Vance and Rand Paul, um, and and Ron Paul said said censoring social media apps that they worry are influenced by the Chinese while at the same time being opposed to censorship. He's calling them out for it, for being uh, hypocritical. Vance and Hart also noted that they support a ban on TikTok, but they felt that the Restrict Act has too much negative implications. Even AOC, Alexander Ortez also criticized the legislation, believing that it's being rushed through Congress and it never received any briefings related to TikTok. Uh, another con congressman uh, by the name of uh, Jamal Bowen and the uh, Electronic Frontier Foundation also oppose this bill because it violates the first amendment of the constitution um and also the aclu also are against this bill 
based on the First Amendment. Um, and so, yeah, they said it's for it's against the First Amendment. I said it's against the First, Third, Fourth, and possibly the Tenth Amendment of the Constitution that it violates. So I hope that the, in long story short, I hope that the it, I hope that people will read read this bill. It's very problematic. This is a fifty page bill, and 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 they snuck in little questionable things within this bill. You know, it's very uh, yeah. So um, so yeah, so. If you own a VPN or you do Robin Hood or Coinbase or you're on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and you're trying to do X, Y, and Z um, and try to force, force content creators to be a part of the federal uh, communications, uh, be licensed, <laughs> you're forcing content, content creators to be forced to to be a part of the federal uh, communications uh, uh, commission. And that's also a problem too. Even though part of me somewhat kind of, I somewhat, um, I'm up to minds at that because that will stop a lot of bullying, a lot of grifting, a lot of slander on YouTube if content creators um, are by by the Federal uh, Communi Communications Act. And um, yeah, so I'm of two minds about that part. But, you know, um, but anyway, y'all check that bill out. It's 50 pages long. They sneaked in a whole lot of things up in there that that people that you really can't read this whole bill, you know, I mean, it's, it's so many, you know, it's like reading a novel, but I see there's a lot, uh, there's some things in here that are very highly questionable in here. So, um, like, share, subscribe, and, uh, check, check that, that bill out. It's in the, it's in the description box. I'll see y'all next time. Enjoy.